Hello everyone, Iron Drake Studios here. I was asked a bit ago about making a video regarding how the plates are made for our Tribute Series plates for championship belts. Everything starts with a mold. As you can see here, I have some molds out. These are cast uh, from a master. Here you can see our master plate all shined up and that was used to create this mold here as well as our side plate molds and then this is one of our brass knuckle molds everything starts with an original and everything I do is made with uh, smooth on products they have wonderful detailed instructions and YouTube videos I'll post a link in the description for their YouTube site as well as their regular site uh, not an endorsement an official endorsement, but I do like their products more than anything. So to make a plate, cast your mold, you get that sealed, you put your mold release into it so that whatever you pour into it does not stick. And for this, I'm going to make uh, one of the metal infused plates, which means that in the end, this will have a real metal finish despite it being made out of plastic. It actually uses uh, impregnated metal into the resin. As it sets, it creates a metal, uh, a finished metal layer at the bottom of the mold here where all the metal sets where you will get a uh, real metal finish. And it is made with a real metal so it will tarnish, it will rust, uh, whatever powder you're using. Uh, for this I'm using an aluminum powder. I'm using Smooth On's uh, Onyx Fast, which means that this sets uh, really fast, about uh, 15 minutes or so. Um, even though it says 15 minutes, I will let these harden over 8 hours just because they're ready to be pulled, but they still may be a little flimsy, so I give that a little bit more time. Whenever you're doing a casting, uh, it's usually a part A and a part B. Usually half and half mixture. Of course, read your uh, material data sheet to make sure, uh, depending on what you get. I use the Onyx, which is a black urethane, because it really makes the metals look sharper and brighter. Uh, you can use a lot of different kind of plastics, but you'll really get a nice shine of the metal with the Onyx. So instead of a half, which it is a half. I'm going to use uh, two ounces of A, two ounces of B. I'm also going to use two ounces of the powder. It's really difficult to make sure the powder settles right because it'll splash up onto the side and makes it really hard to measure. So you need to tap it down to make sure you're getting a proper reading. And then the way I use, I make these is that they have Chicago screws embedded in it. And the only way to do that is in the casting process. So what I'll do is, I have these ones set up right here. I will grab the female end and set them around the mold so that they're ready to go in. That way I have everything set up and ready. So I've got my mold set, I've, I've invested with mold release. I have the other molds here because if I have too much plastic, if I have, if I've over measured, then I have some place for it to go. If you under measure it, you won't be able to produce a quality part. But if you over measure it, at least you can add to something. So if you're making molds of something, go ahead and make a mold of something else just for fun or whatever just so you have some place to pour extra plastic of course you don't want to make so much plastic you're wasting it but at the same time you're gonna have some <coughs> excuse me and it's a good place good idea to have some place for that to go alright so this is very very simple we're gonna take our uh, aluminum we're going to very gently sprinkle it into part A. You'll 
do that, I just have to make sure I get all the powder out of there. And then mix this thoroughly. You'll know it's thoroughly mixed when there's no more dry bits. It's not chunky, it's not clumpy. You'll have a nice solid gray. And it will be, it will be like a, a stone kind of gray, it will be a dark gray, it really won't look like metal at all, uh, despite whatever you're using. Uh, if you're using brass, or you're using copper, it won't look <coughs> like a metal while you're mixing. <coughs> Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, that's our part A with our little room and our part B. Now remember, it does say on the top, stir well before using. This does have a shelf life and it's not long. So if you're going to use this stuff, uh, if you're not using a lot, just get the trial version. Uh, it does not last very long at all. So make sure you have some projects you're gonna use with it because if you're gonna do one thing and nothing else, be prepared to use either all of it or be aware you're just going to use a little of it. That's why I said if you're going to make several molds, make something for fun that you can pour plastic into and you get something out of it at the end. Alrighty. Alright, now we're going to add our part A to our part B. Now when this mixes, it has an exothermic reaction, which means that as you stir this, it's going to get hot in your hand. Uh, that's one reason I'm wearing gloves. The other reason is because this black will stain. And you want to mix this as quickly as possible so that it does not harden in your hand. You want to make sure that you get that gray bit coming through. And I actually like to stir it back into the part A cup just to make sure it's all properly mixed. I can feel it starting to get warm. Like I said, this is the Onyx Fast, so it will start to set up in your hand. And then we're just going to pour. Make sure you're operating on a level surface. Just pour. And then I'm just going to put my Chicago screws in. Four. Put my Chicago screws in. I don't really have a place for them. I just need to make sure that they're covered. They usually sink in, but they may need a little bit of uh, extra plastic poured in to bury them. I got quite a bit left over, so I'm going to pour it in here. This is only half of a two part mold. Now you can do this as a gel coat, which is what I'm doing right here with this one. What a gel coat means is that you're going, going to take uh, a little bit of this and you're going to spread it around. So you just want the surface area to look like that. And then you're going to backfill it with just more regular uh, onyx. That way you use less powder, number one. Number two, you can definitely brush into uh, the mold to make sure you're getting all those small recesses. We're going to do that here. Probably could have put a lot of that in there. And 
it's really already setting up. I don't know if you can see this, but it's barely even mud budging for me. It's like uh, going over clay right now. That's how much it's hardening just this little bit of time. Okay. Now when you pull these, like I said, uh, you should be able to pull these in about 20 minutes, but I usually wait a couple hours. You're going to get a plate that looks like that. It's kind of dark. Doesn't really look like the, uh, the metal that you, you think you're going to get, but uh, you take some stool to that and you start rubbing it and buffing it. You're going to get that. And that is a lot more than that. And if you want to go further, you can definitely uh, buff it with a buffing pad, microfiber cloths. But you will get a one to one copy. You will get a one to one copy of your plate. And then you just have to work on that shine yourself. And you can get a really nice shine. Here I have an uh, example of the brass plate with a good bit of shine on it. Well, I hope that's helped. Anybody else has any questions, feel free to comment. Find us on Facebook, Iron Drake Studios.